Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Steven Mel. Welcome to a new Warface video. I'm playing on Oil Depot as always, because that's all everyone enjoys apparently on the server. I'm using FY49. I've had it for the longest time, and I have just never really used it. Well, actually, I did for like the longest period of time. I got like, I want to guess around 2.5 thousand kills with this weapon in total towards its mastery, and then I played myself bored with this weapon, so it's sad for, um, since it first came out, so I don't know how long that was, because I played for maybe a month after it came out, because I got, like, basically on the first day it came out, and then played myself bored with it, and then I just let it sit. So, I'm here playing it, I don't even think I've made a video with it yet, so, might as well, but it's, it's a pretty good weapon, can't complain anything about it, I have nothing, you know, bad to say hey about this weapon. Um, I think it has like 80 damage, normal fire rate, it's pretty average, recoil's a little weird though. So that's pretty cool, I'm only like, playing defensively, cause like, Look at my health. My health. There's like nothing there. Oh, I'm probably gonna die rushing these guys from behind. Nope, okay. That works. Now I'm definitely gonna die next. Got okay, there we go. It was bound to happen at one point. It was bound to happen at one I always get killed by a nade at least a billion times on this map. Of course I'm just Picking that up, but nades are so annoying on this map. Let's try the par out. A little bit. I heard, I know this thing is super overpowered. Let's put this on, this on, and let's go. God. Go. I've seen so many people use this gun and. Team with the A3, the assault rifle, like the A3 ten, something like that. I see a lot of people use that, and that is also a really annoying gun, because I apparently only die instantly to it. There's a guy around the corner. Yep. There's always someone, like, in between those two, uh, crates, uh, separating our spawns. Uh, at least one person in there at a time. Like always, oh, I saw the Uzi on the ground. I'm not going to use that since I've only been using that. That is my favorite gun. Which leads me to two questions I've been asked. I don't know if they've seen my response to them on their channel. Someone asked me, what is my favorite weapon? Um, I'm going to expand on it. and I'm going to say I have a favorite weapon for each class. So, look at this right. For an assault rifle... I love the, um, the FY103, and for an LMG, I would use the AC7 MG, hands down. Uh, an NG, not even, that's not even, a, how come there's two high levels on that team? Not even a question. Uh, the Micro Orin or the Uzi. Shotgun? I'd say the Richmond M4 Super 90, and for Sniper, it's gonna hurt, hurt me to say this, but the M217. I really like the Everest, but the M217 really does. No, not the M217, what am I talking about? The R98B, that's my favorite sniper of all time in this game. I like the M217, that's like my tied with second with the Everest, but I love the R98B. Come on, peek. I'm gonna have to rush them. It's pretty awesome. Another person asked me, what do I use to record, and if it's free? If not, then what do you um, recommend? I use Fraps, which is uh, $30, $40. Um, I don't know if you would be interested in something like that. If not, then I would probably go with OBS or Open Broadcast uh, software. Some it sounds for something like that. Um, you can record, uh, your screen, 
games you can even live stream with it which is pretty awesome and it's pretty diverse you can actually like set to the settings that work with your computer the best which is pretty awesome and yeah that's probably that'd be something really good to consider if you want to buy something I'd recommend like fraps um, I would use DX Tori to record it's just the fact that my computer um, I looked up, and there's a glitch where DX Tori can mess up, and your frame rate will go really, really low. And it turns out I get that glitch, so I record with fraps, and I still get some pretty good quality, except... I don't know what it is. A lot of Warface videos always seem blurry no matter what you do, so I don't know if it's just Warface right there. Uh, that's messed up. Holy crap, it's just got a head crasher. Congrats on that. I'm dead. One thing with like a team that has two uh, level 60s on it is one, Crytek has bad team uh, balancing. That was a lucky headshot. Uh, they have really bad team balancing and they somehow think I'm some god player that can carry my team with yeah those levels I think it's a free win for the other team though let's try this parent I always get insta killed by it so let's try and see what I can do with it it's always an insta kill by this weapon too like it's it's not fun I always get like insta killed headshot with it it's weak. I guess it's a headshot weapon. I don't like that, I guess it is. Uh, that's if my teammate will stop walking my way. Yeah, I don't know how low levels use this weapon so well. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that like it. I apparently cannot use it. I can use this weapon, though. For video, I was going to try and make the FY47 uh, out of it. Turns out that I have to use uh, some better weapons. Um, I don't know why I did that. Uh, better weapons. Because. I don't know. It always seems when there's high levels in the lobby, they just automatically put them on one team. It's just. Wow. I'm pretty sure I saw the death animation for that person. This is also a really good weapon I'll pull out. I'm picking up like every weapon, uh, but my using my own. Uh, there's, there's the kill. I don't know if it's just me, but I can only use the Winter R4A1 with a silencer. Like if it's with a suppressor. No, I just apparently cannot function with it. Um, I cannot use it without a silencer. That's a katana! That's a katana headshot. Wow. Oh, the spawn camp. I went from katana to spawn camp. This lobby's pretty good. Bad team, team uh, balancing. A team of, that spawn camps and... Looks like two crown weapons and a para. Pretty good, but I don't think they can bounce people off their weapons. If they did, then I don't know how that would play out. I just know some team bouncing needs some work. Come on. Okay, so tap far at that range. Just don't sprain brain. Hopefully, kill them. Oh, the GG, I guess. I haven't played this for a couple days, I've been working on the pain in the butt modded survival that always wants to crash. The mods are stable and everything, it's just, they're moderately stable, like sometimes they'll just crash randomly and then the world needs to be deleted because something in that chunk has is crashing the game. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like and over subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Yeah.